Hello, my dear students. Uh, today, we are. I'm going to explain the question pattern for the year 2021, which is applicable for you all also. The reason why I'm starting with the question pattern is for mathematics, the pattern has changed. So, normally, what we used to have was used to have 100 marks for theory, but this year, what we are going to do, what we are going to have is we are going to have 80 marks theory paper in which you got three sections three sections you got section a we are going to discuss it in detail then we got section b and then we got section c so section a will carry 65 marks section b will be 50 and section c will be 50 is that clear so what you have to understand out here is so there is a choice between section B or section C so section A is compulsory which is going to come for 65 marks and there is a choice between section B and section C which will come for 15 marks is that clear? so mathematics paper is going to be 80 marks for theory and 20 marks will be project work project work so if you have a clear understanding about the question pattern, then it will be very easy for you to concentrate on the chapters which carry maximum weightage. Is that okay? Now, the f now what we are going to do is, I'm going to explain the question pattern in detail. In detail. So, let us start with section A. Section A is 65 marks. So 65 marks, the first thing what I wanted to tell you is 65 marks. So question one, question one will have 15 parts, will have 15 parts. So each carry one mark, so one into 15. So this time, the due to the change in the question pattern, uh, what you are going to do is you are going to prepare 10 MCQ types from question number one you will have 10 MCQ options will be given and five questions will be one mark each so 10 plus 5 is 15 is that clear so the first 10 parts will be MCQ and the remaining five questions will be short answer question so that is question number one now two marks question now from question number two to question number six Question number two to question number six. Uh, there'll be five questions, five questions, two marks each. So five into two equal to ten. Five into two equal to ten. Is that clear? So you, so there'll be two questions. So sorry, there'll be five questions, and each question will carry two marks. Next, we have this is the this is one mark question. This is two mark question, and now. We have four mark question. Four mark question. For four marks question, from question number seven to question number ten. Question number seven to question number ten. You'll have four questions for four marks each. That is four fours are sixteen. Four fours are sixteen. In which two internal choices will be given, and those internal choices will be given for question number nine and question number ten. And finally, the long answer type question will be of six marks, six marks. So this is going to be from question number 11 to question number 14. So question number 11 to question number 14. So you have four questions. So six into four, six fours are 24 marks. Long answer question in which question number 11 and 12 will have internal choices. So as you can see this, look at this, 24 plus 16 will give you 40. This is 50 and 15 is 65. So this is how your question pattern will look like. So once again, let us, let us try to understand this in detail. So section A will be 65 marks and there's a choice between section B and section C. Is that clear? So let us 
first understand the distribution of marks for section A. So question 1 will be a one mark question in which there will be 15 sub parts in which 10 will be MCQs and 5 will be short answer question. Now moving on to the next level, it's a two mark question. So two mark question, there will be five questions from question number two to question number six. So five into two is ten. So two marks question will fetch you ten marks. Is that clear? Now we come to the next stage that is a four mark question. In For four marks question, you have to attempt from question number seven to question number ten. You have to attempt four questions, four questions which will give you 4 into 4 is 16 marks and finally the long answer question from question number 11 to question number 14 again you have to try 4 questions each will fetch you 6 marks that is 6 into 4 equal to 24 so this is how the marks are broken up so as you can see long answer question 24 then we got medium that is 16 then we got for two marks is 10 and for short answer question that's 15 so the total comes to 65 is that clear now for section b and section c we i'm just going to discuss section c because section c is easy okay for section c you got again one mark question one mark question from question number 19 Oh, sorry just question number 19 you got five mcqs you got five mcqs so this is going to be five into one next two mark question two mark question will be just one question that means question number 20 only one question for two marks and for four marks question four marks question you have question number 21 but internal choice will be given internal choice will be given is that clear so four marks so two questions will be given for question number 21 in which there's an internal choice question number 21 okay 21 one question which has to be this is so question number for section c you get 15 marks this is four plus two six then we got five mcq mcq you get sorry this is two questions i forgot to tell you four marks is going to be eight so this is how the marks will be distributed now let us go into detail about the question pattern so section a let us discuss section a first section a question number one question number one as i've already told you you have 10 mcqs and five short answer questions is that clear so the chapters to practice from this for this question number one will be question number one will be relation the sequence will be maintained question number two will be function three will be inverse trigonometry four will be determinant five will be matrices six will be metric seven will be tangent and normal eight will be rate of change nine will be lagrange's mean value theorem or rules rules theorem and 10 will be probability 10 will be probability so 10 mcqs and short answer types will be binary operation matrices differential equation and both questions and probability is that clear so that will be the that will make up the 15 questions that come in question number one now question number two that means two mark question how many questions are you supposed to do you're supposed to do five questions isn't it so question number one will be continuity continuity and differentiability 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 question number three will be function two mark question question number four is going to be l hospitals theorem l hospitals theorem for this year i don't think so you get a question on continuity and differentiability 2021 i'm talking about this year because the due to the pandemic the they have removed continuity and differentiability so question number five is going to be differential equation differential equation so one, two, three, four, and one more. Two, three, four. So differential equation. Continuity, two, three, and number 
six will be integration integration or you'll have definite integral definite integral so these are the five chapters which you need to prepare for two marks so two into five equal to ten two into five equal to ten now let us move on to the third stage that is four mark question four mark question will be from question number seven question number seven you'll get inverse trigonometry inverse question number eight will be second order derivative second order derivative question number nine will be integration again there's a choice between either integration or definite integral and question number 10 will be probability both questions on probability so 9 and 10 will be your choice so either integration or definite integral and question number 10 both questions will be on probability so did i tell you that you get two internal choices so this will comprise the third step that is third stage that is four four the 16 marks question now we come to six marks question six marks question six marks question will be from question number 11 will be matrix this time matrix or determinant so there is a choice so you either do matrix or determinant question number 12 will be integration integration six marks question so it's going to be a difficult question both integration question number 13 will be maxima and minima again a question on derivative maxima and minima and question number 14 will be probability will be probability so this is the fourth stage of section a that is 6 into 4 equal to 24 6 into 4 equal to 24 this is all you need to know regarding the distribution of marks for section a so let me explain it one more time section a is 65 marks there are four stages stage one one marks question question number one 10 mcqs and five short answer question i gave you the name of the chapters also so you focus on those chapters next stage two two marks question is five questions you are going to get question number two continuity and differentiability question number three function question number four l hospitals theorem question number five differential equation and question number six integration or definite integral so five into two is ten now we move on to the third stage of section a that is a four marks question question number seven inverse trigonometry question number eight second order derivative question number nine inverse integration or definite integral and question number ten probability or probability so there are two internal choices question number nine and question number ten so four into four equal to sixteen now we come to the final stage that is six marks question six marks question is question number eleven is matrix or determinant so there's a choice you either do matrix or a determinant question number twelve is integration Question number 13 is maxima minima and question number 14 is probability. Is that clear? So 6 into 4 equal to 24. So the level 4, 24, level 3, 16, level 2, 10 and level 1, 15. So this is how section A will be broken up. Is that clear? Now the final section C, I'll just explain this part also to you. So the entire 80 marks will be complete so for section c section c the first question that is question number 19 will be five mcq type questions so you have to practice application of derivative uh, because there are three chapters regression and again and lpp so question number 20 in for this mcq types you'll get only two chapters one is derivative application of derivative and the other one is regression the other one is regression question number 20 only one question for two marks that is regression regression and question number 21 sorry question number 20 yes question number 20 so you get either application application or regression question number 21 will just be a question on regression and the last question question number 22 will be linear programming and in this you will get an option so l p p so this is four this is also four this is two and this is five so that makes the total 15 so i hope 
you have understood the question pattern properly i want you all to copy whatever i have said and whatever i have written in the board in your maths copy and go through it one more time thank you so much